Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. In the previous session, we wrote the basic text for our home page, and now it is on our home.html page, as you can see over here. Okay, uh, if I refresh the site, what you will see looks something like this. Check my page source, and these tags can be seen on my page and site. Of course, the problem that we are dealing with right now uh, is that here with better, let's see, in the master, set this meta tag okay this one set it on top okay uh, on top of our tags of course because our title tag has come in all sections so uh, we'd better just remove these from the master and set it in home here okay like this now I refresh the site and check the page source again now it looks like this now the meta tags description and keywords are not the sub branches of the UTF-8 tag and let's see it looks better now now we have written the basic tags but the problem here is the a static state of the SEO and now we want to make it dynamic restate it again for the admin so that the admin can control his descriptions and keywords through the admin page okay so at first uh, these are the site settings I go to the site setting uh, I want to add two fields to the site settings one field for description and one for the keywords okay i go to the site settings site this is the setting settings side okay here i make a copy all right uh, the name of the id would be for instance cell txt okay and the next one cell keywords just like that just like that okay uh, let's see now I set the placeholder as so keywords and let's see so okay that's it okay now uh, we have made two fields but data that is being shown now we need to check the settings let's check the view the side settings let's find them this is the setting section of our site now our site setting uh, is reading the data okay in the main the main whose pk equals to let's check the model over here I need to add two more values okay uh, let's see let's see what we got here one as so underline txt that's our description okay with 160 characters we increase it to two hundred characters and the other one so 
ok keywords the keyword that we got and this one would be text we say it needs to be text filled and we give it the default I added two fills when I add two fills I need to use the command python manage dot p y okay make migrations all right let's see let's check it out see what we got two fills have been added and then python manage dot py migrate okay and run server now I have two new fields that I can use in my settings. I check them out. I have made two fields as you see over here. So those values should be the ones that I named in the model. So txt for text. Okay. And keywords for the value now if I refresh the size settings I need to see the two new fills which are empty uh, that's up to here our data have been sorted out we have prepared the settings for them and now we are going to save them okay in order to save them we go into view and this is our site settings here and we do the reception i make a copy two times okay i made a copy of the name for instance so txt okay I say so txt and so cure now I need to get the name from the HTML it is so txt okay and this one so keyword okay so I am receiving these values now okay now what I need to do is to save these values as well okay so let's save them let's go over here after doing these uh, stuff and taking these steps in order to see uh, do it what we have here I need to name the fills over here so that's what I do that's exactly what I do I name them cell txt request cell txt the other value so keyword b dot cell keyword equals cell keyword now I refresh the site and test first okay let's check the first one right now we don't have anything first the text then the keyword here I write about my site and here my site comma test one comma test two that's all right and save okay and as you see my data has been saved about my test has been saved as explanation and the keywords that have been saved using a comma uh, we had the keywords in the tags as you noticed uh, for the news and as we show them as HTML for each news we are going to use the same thing for showing these words in our cell 